Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. Today we will be testing out carbon fiber PTG versus regular PTG. I'm going to be printing more of these in the future and with the current regular PTG they are quite flexible. Once they get spinning pretty good the veins start bending outwards a little bit and start rubbing against the housing so I would like something that's a little bit stiffer for these guys. Hopefully the carbon fiber uh, will give it a little bit more stiffness and uh, we will be testing that with a deflection test. So this guy's too heavy, so I'm gonna try using this. All right, that works a lot better. Here we have our regular PTG. Let's, uh, let's check it out. That looks like about 4.6 centimeters. Now let's give the carbon fiber a shot. Okay, here's the carbon fiber. Oh, yeah. Was this really a waste of time? So, because our last test was an epic fail, I went on Amazon and ordered a couple more parts so that we can conduct a better test and get some actual numbers out of it. In the meantime, I went ahead and figured out the best settings to print PTG with, with and without carbon fiber. This is the regular PTG, and as you can see, there's very little stringing. There was no support, so these are just the true overhangs. It's quite nice. I'm quite happy with it. The carbon fiber PTG printed a little bit worse. It's a little bit messier, but not bad not nearly as bad as it was to begin with this was the first print here so you can really tell we've come a long way in terms of the settings from one to the other these are some pretty easy prints and i want to see if we can print something a little bit more challenging here to really push those tolerances and see what we're capable of and then afterwards i'll show you guys the settings here we go we've got it spinning freely Um, it wasn't even that hard, uh, definitely didn't take me four attempts, uh, to make it happen. Yeah, definitely first try, um, 100%. There's only, a, a point one five millimeter gap on either side of the ball to the, uh, the actual walls of this thing. So it's, it's a pretty tight tolerance, and, uh, I'm quite happy with it. Alrighty guys, here is our setup. We have a load cell hooked up to an Arduino, hooked up to this LCD. The Arduino processes what the load cell is picking up and displays it on this LCD here. You probably can't see the screen, so let's set up another camera so you actually can see it. So this is the setup. We have our load cell with a screw, and then I went ahead and printed uh, these load bars so that we can put them into the test stand. As the screw makes contact with the bar, the bar starts applying pressure to the, the load cell. And as you can see on the display here, uh, it outputs the current load. So if I back it off, you'll see that load goes down and it records our maximum load which is what we'll be using to compare the different types of plastic to each other to see which is the stiffest. And then we can also look at how far the plastic deflects, how well it returns to its original position, if it cracks, if it bends, if it breaks. So there's not much left to say aside from that, and uh, we can get right into it. So the load cell is zeroed and I am set to get started. This is just regular PTG and we're going to begin putting some pressure on. So it looks like it peaked out at 2300 grams and let's let it come back. We have a very small amount of deflection there. It looks pretty good. It came back pretty much exactly where it was. I have two more. Let's try these out and we'll record the maximum values and then take an average. to the starting position, or very close to it. I have one more. 
Looks like we're maxing out at 3611. I'll back it off. And it also returned pretty much right back to where it was. Next up, we have Carbon Fiber PTG. This is the guy that I'm real curious about. And I want to see how this performs. Oh, wow. Okay. So we maxed out at 3620 and we got some serious delamination. There might just be a settings issue, but I'm not too happy about that. Another carbon fiber PTG. Oh wow, there's a crack. Okay. Wow, that's that's low. We're at 3382 and there's a crack and it did not return to its original position. There's a big old crack right there. Wow, 3362 this time. And it looks like there is a little bit of a crack. Next up is regular PLA. Most people use PTG for its temperature resistance over PLA. I personally use PTG because it tends to be more flexible than PLA. PLA is stiffer and more brittle. And so uh, let's see how this stacks up to the other two. And then uh, we can come to some final conclusions here. Our maximum load is 47.46 here. Let's back it off and see if it'll return. So as you can see, there's very slight cracking there. Uh, it did not return to its original position, but it, it took way more load than the PETG did. Okay, so this is already at the point where the uh, carbon fiber PTG broke. Our maximum load was 5042 on this one. Wow, that full on took five kilos of force. Now, as you can see, it did crack again, but it did withstand like a full two kilograms more than uh, than the carbon fiber PTG. So uh, there is something to be said for that. So I came into this with some assumptions. As it turns out, those assumptions were totally wrong. I'm like shocked by how poorly the carbon fiber PETG held up to the other guys. And I think I'm going to be using PLA for my impellers because it's just so much better. And as long as temperature is not an issue, uh, I should be able to get away with it too. Now there are some factors that could have affected the test. Uh, the, the print settings, the quality of the carbon fiber PETG itself, and uh, the way I was measuring, right? Because I was screwing down and every time I touched the load cell, it put some pressure on it. So let me know in the comments if there's anything that I maybe missed that I should try differently in the future. Uh, maybe I'll revisit this and give it another shot, maybe with some different materials. But uh, that's all I've got for you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got something out of it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.